Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, this matchup, which is looking like if Rhett continues on his current form, he'll be advancing to the Grand Finals to, I believe that would be our first mirror match final in any SCI. Yeah, it would be a pleasure to watch Zerg versus Zerg at that high level. Definitely, It would be yeah. amazing to see. And that would make, if I mean, not to say Thorzane's out, but if he did drop down, that would be Grubby versus Thorzane. Which is still a great fight. It's an amazing yeah. game for Good third games. and fourth place. Yep. So... Uh, either way, whichever way this goes, we're going to have a great third and fourth place. We're going to have a great final. Um, no and it looks like the next map, like you said, is going to be Taldrim Ulta. An interesting so choice. Daybreak and Taldrim Ulta were the two options left for, for Thorzing to choose from. And I do like the choice for Taldrim Ulta. I was weighing it up, and Taldrim Ulta would have been the better one mm -hmm. because it's harder for Zerg to take a third, uh, of course, and then a fourth gets even harder. And this map, we've seen how good Thorzane is on this map. Fast third bases. Killing those rocks nice and early, and his, yep. his late game is so good as well. And let's see, both of these players are ready, man, so... Oh, yes. Well, let's get straight into it, then. I don't see any reason to dally. Taldrim Alter. Ladder edition. It has always been one of the great maps. I remember when we first did Taldrim Alter. This was back in a show match that I put on during the Four Weeks of Fury event. Mm. And this is when Taldrim Alter was being put out there as one of the maps. Uh, alongside Test Bug. As mm. This will save tournaments. Yeah, well, that didn't really happen with Test Bug, I've got to say. But <laughs> aside from that, yeah, it's, we put Sokke on that map. And yeah, that was a long game. All right, folks, here we go. It's my pleasure to bring you Mouse Sports Thorzane. He is in the red trunks and he is playing Temin to the southeast of this particular map versus his opponent. It is Liquid's Red. He is in the blue trunks playing Zerg to the northwest. And uphill battle for Thorzane in this game because he is, well, he has spawned cross position. Mm -hmm, yeah. Very similar to Terminus and the strengths and weaknesses of spawning close or cross is that Thorzane's pushes will not work. Like we saw in that last game, you know, I don't know why he pushed out there to try to punish something from Red. But it's so easily scouted and so easily dealt with. Even though Rhett did lose a hatchery the second time around, the first one just just absolutely crushed Thorzane's hopes in that game. Losing four tanks and X amount of units is obviously not good. Um, so I expect Thorzane maybe not to push. Now he knows cross positions is uh, viable. But oh my god, Thorzane. We're going to have an 11 barracks in the center of the map. And it's going to be two 11 barracks. He's punishing the 15 hatch from Rhett right now. My oh my, and we have seen that Thorzen is willing to do this stuff. He learned a lot in Korea, including things like this crazy hyper-aggression. And there we go, the second 11 barracks, double proxy barracks going down. And this is not characteristic of Thorzen. Not in this matchup. Looking no. at him, but the thing is though, more and more recently, he's throwing these kind of builds into his play, which makes him very unpredictable. And nobody's really gonna think this would come from Thorzen. I, uh, Rhett probably has no idea. He's already at 16 supply. He's probably going to go 16 hatch. I mean, 16 spawning pool, sorry. Uh, yo, 17. Oh, oh, wow. 17 pool. That's hyper greedy. It's The positioning is a bit... he's not drone scouting either. No, he's so. not. I mean, I was going to say, isn't this position a little bit risky? Because... I don't, I don't know. Would you go directly through the center? Because the thing no. at the moment seems to be to scout cross, though. No, I mean, if he w did send a drone scout, it would be to the right-hand side because then the Overlord is going to scout really fast to the bottom left. The uh -huh. drone would go top right and then bottom right. So it would never, ever get scouted by a drone or Overlord because obviously Overlords wouldn't be in the middle. And Rhett has gone Extractor uh, as well. And this is obviously not looking good. And we're just no. waiting for Thorzane to see if Rhett is in the bottom left. And he knows he's not now. So everything's going to march towards that top base. And Rhett is actually checking around with a drone, surprisingly, just making sure there's nothing there. But he's going to be in for a shock, man. This actually could be checkmate right here and there. Potentially, yes, it there's could be. There's just too many Marines already. No lings. The bunker's down. He can't prevent the bunker. There's three Marines. Yeah, I'm really, really happy that Thorzane's actually doing this because... It shows variety in his playstyle, and it shows that he's capable of adapting to the situations. And Rhett's now going to realize that's three Marines that can only really mean and one he's thing. he's pulling a lot of drones to deal with this. Well, he and has to. The bunker's going to complete before the drones get there. Yeah. So this is really bad right now. Really bad. The hatchery is definitely going down. Whether it'll be checkmate, it probably still will be, but Potentially. the is definitely down. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even have to be checkmate, honestly. Check is fine as long as you are able to do enough damage to make this justifiable. And he is building SCVs behind this, of course, and oh, supply he depot. It with two SCVs as well. That's very nice. Even microing those to keep them alive as long as possible. Gunning down drone after drone after drone. And the SCV is finally eliminated. Is it in range of the hatchery? Yes, it is. And the hatchery health is starting to plummet. 
16 SCVs and mules versus only 11. The hatchery is in range. He's going to target fire the queen and then the spine as well. The queen goes down. Two more marines and coming in as well. This, this is insanity. Really, really good engagement. And uh, Red GG's immediately. That is it. Five minutes. That's why he picked Taldorim. And he just punishes Red so hard. And I have to wonder if that map pick wasn't just a pick for, hey, I have to do proxy racks. It was a pick because. You know what Rhett's going to do on Taldorim? He's going to do this. I think the I think the best way, and if I can break down Thorzane's thought process, was I have Taldorim, I have Daybreak. I'm very good at Daybreak because I've played it a lot. I'm also very good at Taldorim. What can I do on Taldorim that I can't do on Daybreak? I could do this. That. I'm going to win really fast. And he knew he was going to win yeah. with that. I'm going to win fast on Taldorim with my two racks, 11-11. I'm then going to take it to Daybreak, which is a very strong map of mine as well anyway. And that's how it went down, and that's probably exactly how he thought that was going to go. And he did. And he's he, opened he it executed to the last it perfectly. Map, that, is, that is incredible foresight. It really is. And that shows it goes beyond simply the game. It's a, He's playing the best of five. He's not playing a map by map. Yep. And that Very was his strategy. It did make me sc scratch my head just a little bit. Like, he's good on date, but why would he not pick it? Oh. There's your answer. Yeah, it's good. Well, we're going back to the US server. That certainly didn't take long. And when we come back, some craziness as we go into the last map. On daybreak. Thorzane suddenly takes the momentum again and never, ever count him out. And this that's why. It's going to be a crazy last game. Daybreak oh, is wow. so big. Daybreak no, for the last map. There's not going to be any form of early aggression from Thorzane. It's just going to be straight out slugfest. And anything could game. happen. You know, yep. between those two in a straight out slugfest, anything could happen. Yep. It's still all to play for, folks. We'll be right back.